Here we are standing on a rooftop in Jerusalem in front of the Kotel, and that's the Temple Mount behind us. This is the Holy Land. This land is being fought over for many, many years. People needlessly being killed. It's time to end this war. I recommend that we take this case to a court and both sides agree to listen to what the court says. But is there such a court that both sides will agree on? There's only one court possible, the heavenly court above, the holy court where the angels stand and listen to the testimony and the judge of all judges listens and decides and both sides will listen. First will come the Jews represented by Moses, the prophet Moshe. Moshe, please give your testimony. Moshe takes out a safer, a book that he wrote and says, I already wrote it in the book thousands of years ago, in the book of Genesis. God told me to write, for all the land that you see here, I give to you, Abraham, and your descendants forever. And again, he says, the whole land of Canaan. This land God gave to descendants of Abraham forever. And Moshe goes. Now who is going to represent the Arab case? Their prophet, Muhammad. Muhammad comes up and states his case. But I wrote many, many years ago in the Holy Quran, 522. O oh, my people Israel, enter the Holy Land, Palestine, which Allah has assigned to you, and turn not back in flight, for then you will be returned as losers. And again in chapter 26, and thus Allah caused to inherit this land to the children of Israel. And Muhammad rests his case. Both sides agree. The Jewish holy book and the Muslim holy book. And the holy judge says, obviously the land belongs to the Jewish people. It is their holy land. Now what should we do with the Arabs that are living on our land? We should provide them with houses, schools, hospitals, and jobs in one of the 22 Arab countries that surround Israel today. Let them go live in peace, and then there will be peace in the Holy Land. Please God, let it be soon. This is what God wants. Let there be peace.